When you're flying a helicopter, it's an intense experience. The pilot actually has four different controls that he uses to tell the helicopter what to do. These foot pedals control the tail rotor. By pushing them back and forth, the blades of the tail rotor move back and forth and it controls the amount of sideways thrust. This lever between the seats is called the collective. Pull it up or down to change the angle of all the blades at the same time. This twist grip is the throttle that controls the engine, just like the twist grip on a motorcycle does. Twist it for more or less power. And then this is called the cyclic. It allows the helicopter to move forward, backward, or sideways. Combining all, all three controls, and plus if I turn the governor off and then I'm having to work the throttle as I'm going up and down, work the pedals and cyclic, that's when it gets real confusing. Let's start with the basic takeoff. The helicopter is sitting on the ground. The pilot twists the grip to give the engine power. The blades spin up. Then the pilot pulls up on the collective. This tells all of the blades to increase their angle of attack. This produces a lot of lift and the helicopter rises. Here you can see exactly how versatile a helicopter is. Helicopters get their amazing capabilities from their rotating wings. In an airplane, the wings create lift when the plane moves through the air. In a helicopter, the rotating wings are always moving, even when the helicopter is standing still in the air, so there's always lift. The tail rotor moves the tail of the helicopter either left or right, depending on where the pilot wants to go. The foot pedals control the tail rotor. When the pilot pushes them, the tail rotor changes its angle. The left hand controls the engine speed with a twist grip, and the lever is called the collective. The collective lets the helicopter go up or down by changing the total lift from the rotor. The cyclic control in the right hand lets the pilot go forward, backward, left, or right. When the pilot moves the cyclic, it adds lift to one side of the rotor, so the whole helicopter pitches over and moves in that direction. On a windy day, the pilot is adjusting all four controls constantly in order to stay on course. It's a major exercise in total concentration.